Hi guys, it's Christine. I wanted to come on with a word I felt the Lord just gave me and um, I wanted to come on real quick and just share this word. So uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christine Pastor. I am the founder of Tamar's Hope Ministry. And Tamar's Hope is a Christian ministry that seeks to restore the lives women caught in bondage to human trafficking and sex slavery in the New York, New Jersey metro region. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to share and like this video and get this important information out uh, to as many people that need to hear it. And if you are new or coming back, welcome again. So I was just, um, just really spending time with the Lord in prayer and meditation and worship. And I was just sharing some, some stuff from the ministry that I felt the Lord was giving me. And I, I needed to just come on and share this word because I really need to share it whenever I get it because otherwise I'll forget it and it might not come out the same way as I get it in the moment. So, and I wasn't expecting to come on and, and do a video, but I, I do feel like I have a word that the Lord gave me and I, I, you know, need to share it and get it out. So there are people who are jealous of your testimony. There are people who are jealous of your testimony. And believe it or not, there are people that will, you know, they'll hear your testimony and some people will be inspired by it and think, wow, you know, that is wonderful. That's a wonderful thing that God has done in your life and how he's transformed you. And you are, you know, really just you know, walking in the deliverance ministry and the healing that God has done in your life. And I really felt that it was inspired by just sharing um, my, my content this morning and just really feeling that, you know, there are some people that will read and they'll see what God has done in your life. I really just felt like in my spirit, like God had spoke those words to me. Like there are just some people who will hear your testimony and they will see what God has done in your life. And they will just absolutely be like, why her and not me? And I mean, and, and this could be a testimony that honestly, nobody would ever sign up for, right? Like, even with my testimony, like, you know, what I've gone through in my life and what I share, you know, with our ministry and the ministry work that we do on the streets with the women caught in bondage to human trafficking and sexual abuse and sex slavery and, you know, just everything that the Lord had brought me from with, you know, child abduction, attempted murder, you know, just all sorts of uh, sexual abuse and exploitation from pedophiles and, and abusers, narcissistic abuse, ritual abuse, you know, things that, you know, nobody in their right mind would ever, ever want to, to endure and to have to go through. And, you know, the reason that I, I share that today is because that's what the Lord has delivered me from. And that's what, you know, I, I know I would not be here today if it was not for the Lord and for what he's done. It, it's not from a place of, for example, nobody in their right mind would ever want to sign up for testimony like that. That is truly a testimony that comes from a place of absolute brokenness, absolute like being lost and on your way to hell and knowing without a doubt 100% that the only reason why you are where you're at in your life today and in your right mind 
and alive is because and only because and no other reason but the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ saved you and he delivered you and he has redeemed you and restored you and healed you to a point where now he uses that very same thing like the Bible says to minister to others that are in that place so everything that the enemy has meant for evil in your life God turns around for the good so that he can turn your your test into a testimony you know we we all have heard it right like the Bible says you know with the same comfort that we have been comforted we are able to comfort those that are going through what we've gone through you know this is how this this works so for anybody, I mean, not everybody has that kind of a drastic testimony, um, you know, they're, but everybody has something, right? And instead of feeling content with where God has brought them from, it's almost like it's not enough. Like, because it's so drastic and it's so intense and it is um, shocking to a lot of people for the, the dramatic testimonies, and even if it's not dramatic, there are still people that will hear you share your testimony and as crazy as this sounds, and they would deny it, they, they would never admit something that there are people that are jealous of your testimony because they feel like, well, who are you? Or why did God deliver you in such a way? Like, And even though it's something that nobody would ever want to go through, and it really is a form of insanity and being out of touch with reality and not really being grateful. I think that's where it really, you know, that's really the root cause of it is it's a coming from a place of not being grateful for the gifts and talents that you have. It's not being grateful for the things that you know, God has blessed you with, it's really wanting something that somebody else has. And even if it's not something that is, you know, desirable or, you know, to go through or to have to have endured, it's still the fact of like, well, why does she get to have that powerful testimony or why did she get to have that platform, you know, uh, or ministry or, you know, to, to help other people's, you know, get delivered from where God had delivered from. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite movies, and, you know, it's just something that I just thought of right now. It's, it's The Count of Monte Cristo. If you've never seen it, you have to watch it. It's a it's an incredible movie. It's The Count of Monte Cristo. My favorite version is the one with Jim Caviezel, who did The Passion of the Christ, and um, he's just like my, my favorite actor. And but I love the Count of Monte Cristo. And it's between, you know, Edmund, which is the character that he plays. And then there's the other character that's played by Guy Pierce. And um, but the whole point of it is that, you know, Edmund is really just like really a poor person. And but he's just he's got a character of integrity and empathy and he really is grateful for the things that he has you know with his um you know his his family his father his fiance that he's gonna get married and um you know he he you know he's working to buy the ring and his friend his best friend who is rich and there's one point in the movie where the best friend is trying to come on to Edmund's fiance and they're all, all three of them are friends. I guess they grew up together as friends. And she says to him, do you remember that time when we were younger and you had a pony for your birthday gift given to you and Edmund had a whistle and he he was so happy with his whistle and you were so miserable because Edmund was happy with his whistle and you know you weren't happy with your pony 
even though you had a pony, you weren't happy with your pony. You were mad at the fact that Edmund was happy with his whistle. Now, it wasn't the fact that the friend wanted necessarily the whistle. It's just the fact that, that Edmund was happy with his whistle and didn't want his pony. But once you get it, you won't even appreciate it because that wasn't the cause of really the the motive behind why you wanted it. You just didn't want the other person to be happy with what they had, even though it was a whistle and you had a pony. There will be people that will hear you share your testimony. They will hear you share where God has brought you from, and they will be mad at not not because they want your testimony and not because they want to go through what you've gone through, but they just don't want that fact that they don't like the fact that it's you that went through it and overcame it and that you're happy and grateful that you overcame it. Why people do what they do, and I believe it all goes back to the root cause of the fallen nature, the sin nature, and it's really demonic. That was just something that came to me this morning, and I felt inspired to come on and share because there will be people, as crazy it may, as it may sound, you would think somebody would be happy to hear you share your testimony and where it is that God has brought you from and where he's delivered you from, and even go a step further, and now you're helping people to get set free in the same area that God has set you free in and redeemed you and restored you in and given you your healing. And now you're giving back and you're showing other people and where to find their healing and where to get their healing. And there will be people that will be mad and jealous about that and not because they want to do it, not because they necessarily even want to have your testimony and because they couldn't go through what you've gone through because their heart is not in the right place and their character is 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 not right and they really need to work on themselves but they would never see it like that or admit it and they just don't want to see you happy with that because that's something that gives you happiness and joy and contentment and gratitude and so I really just wanted to come on here and share that and I hope that this helps someone. If this is something that resonates with you, don't forget to bring it to the Lord in prayer, test the spirits, ask the Lord if this is for you and if it is, you know, ask him. But just to keep on sharing your testimony and not allow anybody to dim your light and shut you down and take your voice away because they've got a problem with it because really at the end of the day it's their problem but if this is something that resonates with you guys please don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like and share uh get this video out to people who really um have struggled with this or are struggling with this or going through something like this i appreciate you all and i will see you in the next video